Hi YouTube, we are back with another No Money Spent episode. Today I want to share with you the progress of the team, show you exactly what we accomplished in the last seven days, and share what is the goal for the following week. Okay guys, let's not lose any time and jump into the video to see how is the team looking so far. Okay, let's start with Season 1 Reward Path. So, I think we are doing very good. Uh, we recently get our first boss, we also have some uh, Charisma Packs, and we are very close to our second one, so I'm pretty sure in uh, then I will take this gentleman here, Muneteka Murakami, or that's how you pronounce his name. If not, I will be cancelled, but I really apologize. I don't really know how to pronounce his name. Murakami is his surname, and I believe I'm pronouncing it right. My first boss, obviously, I took Alindor, as already discussed in the last video, and so far his card is really good. It's just me. I'm bad. But unfortunately, it is what it is, and Lindor is stuck with me until... There will be a better Lindor's card I can use in the short stuff. If you look at the programs, then you can see every single program is completed. You can you cannot see because of my webcam uh, the starter program for Justin Wellander, but it's also completed and I think I already had it last episode. So World Baseball Classic program is done. I didn't play the showdown. I did went and win uh, events game because that's exactly what I said I will do. I will try to avoid showdown wherever possible. And we also have Weekly Wonders first program ends April 5th. It took me 20 minutes, it's a really easy program with moments and submissions and you end up with around 5-6 packs I think. That's what we get in total and it also shares some history of baseball and I just think then it's a really good addition, easy program for people who are new and they just want to play something in the middle of the week. If I look at the team affinity you can see then there is plenty to grind still for me. I'm not really rushing through this program, I want to play the game and eventually see how far it takes me. I'm trying to pay attention to the cards I need to use and I'm trying to build my event team around that, to see if I can gain any parallel XP and just help myself to get towards one of those cards. Other than that, I could possibly go and play showdowns, but again, I will try to avoid them. I'm not really a big fan, just because I cannot win any of them, probably. And I will play some mini seasons to get some vouchers, but that probably will be the last thing I will do, because again, I don't mind playing against the CPU, but it's just like, just so, so boring. But because it's a no money spent series and we have to do everything possibly we can to get the best team possibly we can with the less amount spent in the game, that's exactly what I will do once I will be done with events. So, we had a busy week. We completed every single conquest. I probably need to go outside and touch some grass. Nations of Baseball took me the longest. I think if I would ever need to play... Blue Jays again because somehow I ended up playing Blue Jays five or six times as my last strongholds. Maybe because they capture everything else. I don't really know what, exactly what happened. It took me around 10 hours in total to complete it. We get plenty of packs, and I think my best pull from those packs were. So yes, we pulled Edwin Diaz. I know his price will go down, but as a Mets fan, I'm really happy and he's one of my best closers in the game. So hopefully they will add new conquests soon because I really need something to play because I enjoy playing conquests more than mini seasons. Maybe because you can get a packs and it just increase your odds with getting closer to the live series collections and just making some stubs. So as you can see, we have 203k stubs. I did flip a little bit because finally they updated the app for uh, Apple. So I think I maybe flipped around like 50k. Everything else is just from playing the game and selling duplicates. There's still plenty of duplicates I need to sell and I would suggest you guys do the same. I'm selling every single bronze, common, gold, silver player. I know some of them may go diamond, but I think this early in the game I will take any stops I possibly can. So make sure you guys pay attention to the equipment because some of those equipments like batting gloves or fielding gloves goes for quite a lot of stubs. As you can see, I don't have any except one of these. We can actually go and uh, see what it goes to Auction House. Why do I call it Auction House? Maybe because I'm used from like other sport games. This is Marketplace, not an Auction House, so I apologize for not calling it really as it is in the game, but probably eventually I will get used to it. So yes, if you have any gold or diamond equipment or any even like silver one, just make sure you sell it because if you're not playing Grow to the Show, then technically you don't need all of this and these are free stubs. Why not? Okay, regards the events, uh, we are currently at 17 wins. We finally get our left-handed pitcher. Not a bad and not a good card. Uh, 
let's see how it went when we use him in the next game to get our a 16 win We're also very close to get Pete Alonso. I don't know if I will keep him or if I will sell him. Like, his value is quite low, so I probably may keep him. I know there is quite a lot of cards I could just sell, but from the day one and last year I did it the same, I'm not selling all these cards. I know I could probably make quite a lot of stops if I sell them straight away and it would help me with the live series collections. But what I found last year, then all these cards will eventually be needed for collections and sets and everything else. And... I just want to be prepared. I better start collecting them now, then I will struggle and need to buy everything back. I know they will be twice as cheap, but I just sell duplicates and that's all I do. I know it's probably not the fastest way, but I just like to have all these cards and have the variety. And as soon as they will drop one of the collections, I will have all of it. Also, I want to complete the set one collection and to do that, I need all these cards. Like, I could possibly go and sell them, but then it will never help me. We're currently at 50 players and I need another 25 to get just Chisholm because I just think this card is phenomenal. I really cannot wait when I will be able to try him out in any online play, probably events. That's where we will start. And then Trey Turner is obviously the goal. And then let's see if he can even get maybe one of the bosses, which I, I know it's not the boss, but I call it as a boss because I really want cheaper i think that's the best chip i've ever seen and he will make a big difference and that could probably even be my wild card not going to hide we also tried to play two rank season games on stream and those were banned we lost both of them and some of the examples why i lost the game Maybe it's just because like i'm not really uh following recently what's happening with the uh, nhl really Why we have so many errors like that? First of all, I need to learn how to hit, stop swing on everything, and hopefully we will not have errors like that again. So, idea and the goal for the next seven days is to complete and get Mookie bets in events, get a little bit more confident in rank seasons and maybe get a few wins in a book, and maybe start to play mini seasons just to see where we are. Obviously, I need to start grinding the Team Affinity because by the next weekend, I really would like to see that we have Josh Chisholm and we can maybe even do a like Rung Seasons debut for him and see how his card plays out. Let me show you the squad and see who is our best player so far. And it's Brandon Nimo, his supercharged card. Absolutely love him and I hope we would be able to keep him supercharged all year long. We also don't mind Lindor, but I, as I said, I'm just really bad at the game. I swing at everything, so... I think this guy is really suffering in my squad. Everyone else is just there because of their positions. Kensuke Kondo, his swing is really good. I don't know, something about his swing is different, but like how he plays in the, on the field, I don't really like him. I may use him as a catcher and just try him out, because why not? Because I really need someone else in that position. He never can catch a ball from me. Other than that, I think this is a, just a pretty standard squad. You will see everywhere around. This is the bench. Adley is on the bench because his card is unfortunately not as good as I would like. His supercharged live series card is much, much better. And this is our rotation. Uh, we did pull Corbin Burns twice. So yeah, we couldn't pull any other diamonds except the Corbin Burns. And I was actually thinking he will be a little bit better. Maybe I need to get him to the parallel five because his parallel fives always play very good for me. But other than that, this is the squad. Let me know who is your favorite player so far, if you're also a No Money Spends player, and let me know how far you are in the live series collections, because I am very, very far. I don't think I have any collections done yet. But to be honest, I even didn't really start buying the players. I need to start putting the buy orders in. But before that, I really want to know if I want to spend my stubs on one uh, diamond, for example, I could possibly save for Trout or Otani, just buy them and then build my collections around that because everyone else will be cheap or maybe I go and buy a judge. I don't know. There is a lot of 
things I need to figure out what I want to do with my stuffs because at the moment I really don't have enough to finish anything or I could finish something without diamonds so all these choices anyway thanks for watching the video if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe put down in the comment section below how is your grind going how is MLB treating you so far this year and have a good one see you on the field